Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'll talk about the respiration in plants. We knew that the plants perform the photosynthesis process in order to obtain the oxygen and the other uh, essential materials such as water and mineral salts. plus the oxygen in order to make the high energy carbohydrates so these carbohydrates are stored inside the plants and at the time of need the plant uh, gets these carbohydrates out burn them in order to obtain the energy necessary for carrying out the vital activities this process is called the cellular respiration, as we have mentioned before. For knowing the steps of the cellular respiration, just click on this link here. You'll have the definition of the cellular respiration and then the steps of the cellular respiration. So, after this energy is produced, there are waste materials, which are like carbon dioxide and water. So, how does the plant get rid of the carbon dioxide and how does it obtain the oxygen? Let's see. In the simple or the primitive plants, uh, all the cells of the plant are in direct contact with the external environment. So, directly the oxygen diffuses from the outside medium into the plant. This is in the primitive materials. But in the highly uh, developed plants, uh, the oxygen goes through the stomata found in the leaves or in the green stems of the plant. Oxygen diffuses from the outside medium into the plant through the stomata which opens and close. After the oxygen goes inside the plant through these stomata, it diffuses from uh, one cell to another through the intercellular spaces which are found between the cells of the plant till it reaches to the phloem tissues. So these cells with the oxygen passes by obtain their need from it and the rest of the oxygen reaches to the phloem tissues which is translocated. Then the oxygen is translocated to all the parts of the plant either it was stem, leaves or roots. The oxygen also may enter through the roots of the plant through uh, water as the oxygen may be dissolved in water and the roots absorb the water for the need of the plant so the oxygen goes into the plant through water. These are uh, the ways through which the oxygen enters through the plant and any lenticels or uh, barks in the woody stems of trees act as the same as the stomata so that they allow the entrance of oxygen inside the plant. So this is for oxygen. The carbon dioxide is excreted by the direct diffusion so this is the opposite of the oxygen instead of entering through the stomata the carbon dioxide diffuses directly from the stomata or from the cells which are in direct contact with the external environment into the outside environment and inside the um, uh, deeply sided cells, uh, for, for example in the center of the stem of the plant, the uh, carbon dioxide diffuses uh, through the intercellular spaces also uh, of the cells which are found in this place until it reaches through the stomata and gets outside the plant through the direct diffusion. So this is um, the respiration in plants and the uh, obtaining the oxygen and getting rid of the carbon dioxide, this process is called the gaseous exchange. As there is an exchange which happens, so that like the uh, plant trades oxygen for carbon dioxide or the opposite. So this is this part. Uh, at last, there is a relationship between uh, photosynthesis
and the respiration in plants. So, as we can see in this figure, here, the uh, photosensors, which happen the chloroplasts, produces um, certain materials such as glucose. This glucose is traded and it goes into the mitochondria, which produces energy in the form of ATP, as we can see. And there's carbon dioxide and water, which returns once more to the photosensors. So both photosensors and the respiration complete each other, so that photosensors produces glucose, which goes inside the mitochondria, release energy, and returns carbon dioxide and water, which goes into the photosensors, and this cycle goes on. So this is it for today, and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.